have nothing that we are tracking in the Atlantic, the Caribbean, or even the Gulf, at least over the next seven days, according to the National Hurricane Center. Now, one of the reasons why El Nino leads to a rather quiet El Nino or a rather quiet hurricane season is going to be because the temperature change out in the Pacific leads to higher wind shear for us. And remember, tropical systems have a hard time developing when we have high wind shear. But they did mention it means warmer than average sea surface temperatures for us in the Atlantic, the Caribbean and the Gulf. So if we do have a tropical system that is able to develop any warm sea surface temperatures above 80 degrees going to be the fuel to help that system strengthen. So it only takes one storm during an El Nino season to make it a bad storm for us. So that doesn't mean you should let your guard down, especially with so many of us still recovering after Hurricane Ian. But not tracking anything right now is obviously going to be good news. Also more good news. Clouds and radar sweeping across the nice and clear, not tracking any rain first thing this morning. Very warm though. 77 Arcadia, 78 Punta Gorda, the same Lehigh Acres, 81 Fort Myers, 81 down in Naples. As we head through your lunch hour, we are looking at plenty of sunshine, but after one o'clock, more clouds moving through that will be associated with the afternoon storms and showers that we'll see by two with temperatures already then near 90 degrees. So let me time out the rain for you around three o'clock. Uh, most of us are mainly dry, but through a Mockley, for example, Lake Placid, Port Charlotte, a couple of spotty showers, storms and showers race through our inland areas around seven o'clock, really impacting Lake Placid, storms and showers up and down Highway 27 and along Alligator Alley with all of that rain dissipating by 11 o'clock tonight. Overnight going to be nice and quiet and we are dry first thing Sunday morning, but once once again, three o'clock, kind of the same spots through our inland areas, Lake Okeechobee, Alligator Alley, Lake Placid, Arcadia, picking up on the rain. All of that rain activity races over to the east coast and we're dry by seven o'clock in the evening. Very similar forecast for your Monday. Dry first thing in the morning, scattered storms and showers through our inland areas by three o'clock and dry by seven o'clock with all of that rain activity racing over to the east coast. I do think the biggest concern for the weekend going to be the heat because by two o'clock, I mentioned temperatures near 90 but when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like it's 97 degrees outside. So for today's highs, capping out into the low 90s, the humidity definitely going to make it feel hotter. So make sure you're taking breaks in the shade and drinking plenty of water. Warm overnight as well with temperatures near 74 degrees with a couple of passing clouds. And it looks like we have a rather fantastic weekend ahead of us with a 30% chance of isolated storms and showers for today. 40 for your Sunday and 40 as well for your Monday. And it looks like isolated to scatter storm chances as we head through the beginning of your next work week highs each and every day camping out in the low 90s.